Hello, and welcome to What's Bubbling is in Beautiful. I'm Inventor Dan Zen, and in this bubbling, we're going to continue to look at the new things in Zim 6.5.0. In the last bubbling, we took a look at audio sprites. In this one, we're going to see how we can do gradients and bitmap fills now. They're supported in all Zim shapes. Uh, before, you could do that with a, a Zim shape itself, but not with the rectangle, circle, triangle, and blob. So so let's have a look. We'll go into some code now. We're in a Zim fit template and we're using Zim 6.5.0. And here we are down here. Uh, let's see what this looks like. We'll open in a browser. Ooh, nice, huh? Oh, wow. So we've got some, uh, some gradients going on. That's wonderful. Do -de -de -do -de. That's a transform, not the, not the gradient, but the gradients are the things inside. And before this, uh, we couldn't do these on Zim shapes. Here's a circle, a triangle, a rectangle, and a blob. But now we can, so let's see how. For each of those shapes, we have what's called a color command property. And there's also a border color command property as well, so that you can do that stuff to the border if you so desire. That would be, uh, you know, we don't often do that, but we might want to. So we've made a triangle, and then what we, once we make the triangle, we say, hey, take the color command and add a linear gradient to it, or here's a radial gradient, and there's also a bitmap fill, which looks like this. To do, to do, to do. This is another file now. Down here in the circle, we take its color command and say, please make it this bitmap. Now there's a little trick in making it a bitmap. Let's view this in a browser, open a browser. Oh, scared me. <laughs> yeah, uh, there we are making a bitmap fill. You see the bitmaps, the little Z thing there, and frrrp, it fills it. There's some parameters that you can pass in as to how that will do it as well. Uh, but the trick is, it's not the frame.asset that you load it directly, but rather its image property. It does say it's a bitmap, and this is a bitmap, but it's really a string reference to the URL of a bitmap, which maybe is a little bit misleading, so just watch that small snag. Now, where this comes from is CreateJS a little while ago, a few years back, implemented um, a new sort of object-based way of doing fills and all of the commands of, of a shape or, you know, the graphics commands. And so that was cool. That's how we could actually make a circle and then later on set the color of a circle. It would go back and it would it, it had saved the command to fill the the. Um, the shape, and now we're using that command to refill the shape. Uh, otherwise, uh, back in the past, like a while back, we used to have to remake the shape completely. So that's really cool, and now I realized it's about time that these Zim shapes support gradient fills uh, primarily and, and bitmap fills as well. So here's how you can do it. We just, <laughs> it's actually pretty simple. We were, we were already collecting that. So we just exposed it as a property. We said, oh, all right, you guys can use this. And so now you can use that color command and uh, make a bitmap fill this way. Or back here, make a linear gradient fill or a radial gra gradient fill. And this is all available on the uh, Zim, or sorry, on the uh, CreateJS docs under the, the graphics property. And if you don't know how what all this stuff means, it's, it's a little bit mystical to me, but these are three colors that we're using. These are the percentages when they start going. Here's the start of the line, and there's the end of the line that will cause that. So in the one case, you'll note here the start of the end of the start of the line is at zero zero, and the end of the line is the triangle's width and zero. So that means we're starting on the left and we're going over to the width of the triangle uh, and we get something that looks like the triangle right here. So it starts at the left of the triangle and it goes across like that. This one, however, is not going across. It's going down. So you can see that here. Uh, let's see. Circle, circle, rectangle. There's the rectangle. And here it is, orange to red. Uh, zero, zero is its starting position, and then zero 
rectangle's height. So it's starting in the top left corner and going down to the bottom left corner. It doesn't really matter about the corner. Like, I mean, you could make it diagonal if you wanted to, uh, like rect dot width in there. Oop, not a width, a width in there. And uh, we should see that go diagonally. Let's increase the size of that. See how that's now going diagonally? It's going from here and the line is being drawn diagonally to there and therefore we get this diagonal shading which is very nice i could see wanting to put some words on that you know for a tab that's the, the format of a tab right there kind of and uh have words on that that would look pretty maybe without such a thick border <laughs> you don't need the border for it and this one doesn't have a border for instance the radial fill is similar you've got um, the colors, the percentage, where they, how much of it they, they act. Uh, you, you can tighten that up if you, if you make this like, well, anyway, I'm not, I'm not going to bother playing with these. You guys can uh, fiddle with it and learn about them. But that's uh, the, where the, the radius of the circle is starting. And in both cases, it's going to start in the middle. And uh, it's starting at a, 50, a radius of 50 and going to a radius of 100 in these percentages. Neato mosquito. I think that's beautiful. So, I mean, I, I think we'll be able to make some nice looking uh, buttons, nice looking shapes and stuff like that by introducing these gradients. That uh, has been something that was missing. We do have gradient buttons already, if you recall. Um, those were made special for buttons, but now uh, all shapes can have them. Woohoo! And that, my friends, is what's bubbling at Zimbiol. Zimjs.com. Have a great day or night. Ciao.